Hi, I'm Agile Bob, and welcome to another edition of Thursday Thoughts. Today, my thoughts are on the waterfall process. I've recently gotten a few inquiries about why doesn't waterfall work? I recently created a video on that, so let's watch it together. Let's rewind to the year 1970. The use of computers is still in its infancy, but it is becoming clear they can be used to solve incredibly difficult problems. Software programs were getting larger and more complex due to this. Against that backdrop, Dr. Winston Royce wrote a paper titled Managing the Development of Large Software Systems, which he presented at an IEEE conference. The paper was later scanned and is available as a PDF on the internet. The image you see is from page two of the paper. The drawing laid out the flow most people would later refer to as waterfall. There was just one small problem with this diagram. Do you see it? Right below the picture, Dr. Royce wrote, I believe in this concept, but the implementation described above is risky and invites failure. Wait, what? Did he actually say not to do this because you would fail? Yeah, that's what it says. Is it any wonder we've had issues with software projects for the past 50 years since the paper was published? The good news is the paper doesn't end on page two. In just 11 pages, Dr. Royce derived a solution. Unfortunately, it seems a bit complicated. The box in the upper right gives some additional guidance. One piece of that guidance stands out. Do the job twice if possible. Seriously? That's guidance to make managing large software projects work well? This paper is full of surprises. Isn't it obvious you'll be more successful with a project if you throw away the first version and build it all over again with the knowledge you have after failing once? Is it any wonder people didn't like this final diagram and defaulted to using the one back on page two? Doing a project twice is difficult for any company to afford. But wait a minute. Could that be the start of some agile thinking? Instead of doing the whole thing twice, what if we could break large projects into smaller chunks? Then we could apply learning in real time as we completed each piece of work. Wouldn't that be helpful? Yes, and that's the start of some agile thinking, and it came from a paper about waterfall. As you saw in the video, Dr. Royce didn't actually intend for a straight waterfall process to work in the software realm. He said it actually invites failure to try that way. So we really are, should not be surprised when waterfall doesn't work on our software projects. However, it was the start of some agile thinking. So my question for you is, why is your company using waterfall on its most important projects when it's risky and invites failure? Until next time, this is Agile Bob signing off.